In this video, I'll finish off the anchor points by introducing priority. Then I'll be demonstrating some posing exercises that you can do with all the stuff covered in this mini series so far. I know this is only the third basic concept video, but you can do a lot already with what's covered. And this is especially fun for posing characters for single image renders. This will also slowly crawl into the next video topic where we'll advance KineFX techniques and learn different workflows for posing our characters. Basic concept number three, adding priority to IK controls. Let's take the rig from the previous video, taking Eric's left hand and moving it around while pinning down both feet and pinning down the right hand. When the left hand is moved too far out of range, Houdini starts to move even the anchor points that we've pinned down. Pulling this. Okay, so you can start to see his feet are starting to fly off, which is something I really wanted to show you. How to cement the feet, no matter where the hand IK controls are. Why is Houdini moving our pinned down anchor points on the feet? Shouldn't the rig just follow the anchor points to wherever we place them? But when there are two or more controls conflicting with each other, Houdini doesn't know what we want. Houdini simply makes the best decision for us. What we need to do is tell Houdini which points are more important and must be followed no matter what else is happening. We can actually tell Houdini to put more weight onto the anchor points and have them never move, stay in the position Notice the feet has been isolated and assigned to IK controls, and they have not moved. It's in the exact same position as it started. If we tell Houdini that the feet IK controls must be followed exactly above all else, because we don't want the feet to move from this point, because the IK controls have not moved. So let's come over here to the full body IK. Let's return the render flag to the deform uh, node first. Expand this configure menu. And you'll see we have this menu over here where we can add configurations. And that's exactly what we need. We need to add weights to the feet so that it stays in place. So let's add a configuration by pressing this plus sign here. Now we need to indicate what are the bones that we want to add weight to. What are the joints that we're trying to cement down? Now let's click this little arrow and let's actually choose it. Now we want to cement down the feet. So I want to use the lasso. I'm just going to select all the feet bones the four bones it should be now let's enter let's come over here and we're gonna set it to a higher priority and what we need to do is turn this value up so you can see eric instantly snaps his feet back to the ground so i'm just gonna do this one more time zero priority priority one ground overlay so there is a ground now i'm gonna switch the priority one more time zero priority one his feet snaps instantly back up. Now you may want to turn this higher than one to a value that's larger than one when you have more anchor points. So some anchor points may have higher priority, higher than others. So that's when you need this number to be a lot larger than one, but one fits us perfectly fine. Well, I mean, we can turn it up. It won't do anything just because we only have a few anchor points in this example one is the highest already okay let's go back to perspective mode choose this rig pose node this now this is all the way back here so let's bring it back so i'm going to drag this hand all the way back let's move out a bit all the way back all the way front and his feet are not moving just perfect now let's try the front so left, right. Now I'm going to remove the anchor point to the neck. Hold down control and you can just highlight over it. Then you'll see that it's not, the points are not highlighted. The feet are highlighted in yellow because it's selected. Press enter while your mouse is hovering over the viewport. The mouse position in Houdini is very important. Let's go back to that hand and let's try this again. I'm going to move this all the way out. His feet are not moving. So let's pull this back front. Now let's pull him to the side. So Eric is a lot more flexible now since we've removed the neck IK. You can have a lot of fun with this. I created this octopus character to demonstrate some of the use cases of the IK controls and anchoring techniques I've shown in this uh, series so far. This fella has eight tentacles, which is one of the obstacles for posing because of the large number of joints you have to position, making this the perfect example for IK controls. Now, if we were to pose this joint by joint with a rig pose node, this would take forever. You have to 
pose this one limb at a time or one tentacle at a time and this is just one tentacle if i were to lift up if i wanted to lift up all the tentacles you can see how tedious this is so let's get rid of that let's undo all this and bring back that full body ik node so we're not going to do this joint by joint let me pick some of my ik controls from the original skeleton that way we don't have to do any remapping so this is a really benefit in Houdini. Now I'm going to pick... Now these joints actually have names. I'm going to pick leg 7. I'm going to hook this up to the full body IK. Turn off the names. Okay, let's attach a rig pose to the IK control and let's see the magic happen. So we can now manipulate... Oh. The entire rig goes, uh, moves. That's because I don't have any anchor points. Now let me go back uh, to my IK selection. And I'm going to pick a few more points. This time I'm going to pick all the tips. So all the tips of all the tentacles. So they act as an anchor point and I can also rig them. Now let's go back to our leg summon. Okay, let's move that now. Okay, much better. Notice how I can pose each tentacle only once instead of fixing multiple joints for each tentacle. And as a bonus, the head is not anchored down and Houdini is estimating the head position for me, which I think works out in my case. I'm trying to get the octopus to get in a position like he's on the move and ready to run out. So I wanted all the tentacles to look busy. Later on, when we add some procedural animation to all this, you'll really get to see everything in action. So I'm going to have the camera positioned over here to complete the posing. This character was updated after I recorded this part of the video. The topology was updated and I added textures to it. Another huge benefit of using Houdini to pose your characters is the non-destructive process of switching the character mesh and still keep all your poses. As long as your bone names remain the same, or even if it's just the IK bone names are the same, you can switch out the entire character mesh and still keep your posing work intact in a very non-destructive workflow. Near the last moments before I was about to upload this video, I had another light bulb idea that would improve the posing workflow for this particular scene. And I decided to redo the recording for this whole second part of the posing exercise. And this would have caused a delay in getting this video out. So instead, I decided to split this into a two part video. The second posing exercise will be released in another video, which I hope to get out in a few days. Thanks for watching and sticking to the end.